Back at Walmart, this is a Black Friday sale they still had on for a TV at $3.98. Just to do a shop with me, uh, they had some kitchen things on sale. The coffee machine is $98, and then there's an Instant Pot for $1.29. Um, the Christmas stuff was 50% off. Um, I did go quite a bit after Christmas, and most of the stuff was pretty picked over. Uh, that's kind of the ornaments that they had left that was very disorganized and chaotic. Uh, they had some Christmas stuff. Uh, my daughter insisted we get those for some unknown reason. Um, a lot of the stuff wasn't priced, um, so knowing how much it was is difficult. Uh, they had the bath bomb snowman on sale, so they would have been $10 basically. And they had a bunch of random chocolate, um, most of which isn't extraordinarily cheap. 50% uh, off those Reese's would have been 214 which is not bad, but it's not great either. Um, so it wasn't anything very exciting. But they did have a bunch of stockings that would be 50% off. Um, so that would have been very good if that is something that you needed or would need. Um, that was a pretty good price. Um, again, most of the stuff was picked over. So this is just some of the chocolate that they had left. Then I uh, apologize for the camera angle. Uh, shopping with my daughter. Uh, so they had the cupcake liners. On an end cap, they had Disney Princess, and then they had Mickey as well. Um, the cups, I thought, were a really good deal. They're hot, cold, cold cups, so they are two different designs depending on the liquid inside the cup, the mug. They, they are basically $2, which is a pretty good deal. You can get it to stock up for Christmas gifts, like a teacher gift which is why I got one. Uh, the dog one is really cute. If you know someone who really likes dog, um, that one I thought was very cute. Then they had this random toy aisle. So during Christmas, they made this toy aisle in the Christmas section. I did check some of the prices for the toys in this section and nothing that I could find was on sale. None of it was 50% off. Uh, the prices were all over the place uh, so it was hard to see what the prices were um, because the price tags on the shelves were all messed up uh, so you definitely need to get the Walmart app you can scan things on the app and it will tell you the exact price so if you don't have that then definitely you need to get it if you shop at Walmart in the Christmas section they had these that's a waffle waffle bowl candy cotton candy maker and a gummy maker they were not ha they were not half price they were full price i believe the cotton candy maker was like 50 dollars, which i thought was a little ridiculous um then so then this is just a bunch of kitchen stuff that they had put out for christmas but didn't sell but again it is not 50 percent off then i saw these exercise kits they had one for boys one for girls it had a bunch of exercise equipment for children I thought this was really weird. It didn't look like it was on sale, just something that they had. I don't know why this is a thing. Let me know if you think that is really weird. They did have an adult exercise kit. Uh, they did have that exercise bike on clearance. Um, it was $100 off. So that's a pretty good deal if you were already looking for one and you didn't get one for Christmas. Um, now is the time that you can probably get a good deal. Um, and again, this was another toy aisle they put out for Christmas, but didn't sell it. But again, almost all of it looked like it was full price. Then they did have these minion toys that were on sale. Um, they didn't have a lot of them, but they had a few of them that were on clearance. Um, that was three dollars, four dollars. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. If you like minions, 
This is the game section. Um, I saw this Blockbuster game, which I thought was very funny. I used to work at Blockbuster, so nostalgia. I thought that was very interesting. Don't know how much it was. The shelves were very disorganized, and a lot of the sections were being worked on, being stocked. Um, I'm assuming put back in order. So that was very good to see. Um, this is the Disney section that I could find um, of some dolls. Again, it looked like everything, all of it was full price from when I scanned it. Nothing was a great deal. Um, they had the babies, uh, so they had some baby dolls. Just wanted to show kind of the st status of what the shelves look like. This was pretty much every section um, across the board in Walmart, at least in my Walmart. It was just like chaos. Um, I did went, go through the clothing section and I saw this set, which I thought was really cute, but they were $15 each. Don't know if it's worth $15 and I don't know if the set is really... It would probably be too much, but one or the other, they were very soft um, and thought they were really cute. Then they had these pajama pants that I thought were really cute, but they were like 20 bucks. Um, definitely not worth that, just in my opinion. Um, they did have Epsom salts and like a big bag is $8.98. You go to the dollar store, you can get it for two dollars they don't have all the different scents but that is totally okay they do have the lab if you're back from walmart i'm going to show you what we got it was um didn't get that much um there wasn't a lot the shelves were really empty but there were people stocking them as i was there i was expecting to see more clearance stuff i guess more christmas stuff but um this is quite a few days after christmas that i went so maybe they just sold out of the stuff but as when i went the christmas stuff was 50 percent off nothing too exciting um again a lot of the shelves for a lot of the sections um a lot of the toys for example were empty uh, but there were people everywhere stocking shelves so i filmed as much as i could but again like every aisle had people in it organizing it and cleaning it and putting stuff out so um you know, i'll put you around and show you what we got so this my daughter's already opened it they were smarty little circles uh there's smarties inside chocolate outside uh it came in a pack of uh Four, I believe three or four four um, she's already opened it it was a couple bucks it was on sale because it was Christmas but this is an impulse impulse at the register my grocery store that I shop at food basics does not have these particular chips and I actually really do like them uh, the Kool-Aid jammers it didn't say they were on sale but they're definitely cheaper than um, then at my store, at my store, they're more than $2. This was, I believe it was $1.97. So um, pretty good deal. It'd be a little treat. Um, this was one of the only things I thought that was I was even kind of excited for. The box is really cute. Kleenex um, on sale, 50% off. So it was on sale for a dollar. I got this for New Year's for myself. Probably going to be staying in for New Year's. Just me. And, and Bella, obviously. Um, so I figured I would get this as like my dinner. So I will use that. Um, this I got, it was 50% off, so it was only $2. This is a heat cool mug. So uh, when it's hot, when it's cold, it looks like this. When it's hot, it looks like this. So I figured it would make a good addition to a Christmas present if I needed one. Uh, this I also got part of Christmas. It was 50% off, so it was a couple bucks. Build your own Santa chocolate. I don't know, but it was on sale. Um, this I got at the register. Um, it's all right. I've tried it before. It's okay. Um, not my favorite flavor, but it's okay. Um, then these, I got three rings in the orange 
dreamsicle this is an amazing flavor it tastes like an orange creamsicle um, if you know what that is um, at walmart they are 277 i believe you can't and i actually can't get this at my regular grocery store so it's not that bad there are a, their energy drinks tend to be a little bit more reasonably priced unless another store has them on sale these I wanted to try. This was also 50% off, so it was a couple bucks. Um, I've actually never tried this, but I don't know why, but this year I really wanted to, so I waited until the Christmas stuff went on sale, and I'll give it a try. This was probably the most expensive thing we got, this nonsense that my daughter picked out. She gets to pick one thing when we go to a store. That's what she picked. Why? I don't know. It's a wooden food set. It was $25. comes with all this food. Uh, a food crate and 14 play groceries. Why this is a thing, why we needed this. I actually have no idea why I need the, needed this, but apparently we did. So we got that. Uh, so we filmed, yeah, so filmed what I could. Um, it was just, it, the stores are a little crazy. Um, I feel like they definitely sold out of a lot of things from Boxing Day and um, Christmas. I'm sure if you went on Boxing Day on a, the actual 26th, I'm sure they would have had a lot more stuff. Um, but because I went many days after, um, obviously they've sold some a bunch of things. But I will say it was really nice to see that the stores are getting stocked and organized and like getting back on track. Um, I live in Ontario. Um, there's an unknown of whether or not we're going into the 8 trillionth lockdown. So um, it's nice to see that people are still able to work and getting to work and the still the shores the stores are getting stocked back up after all the craziness so that was a little made me a little happy um that is everything for today thank you very much for watching definitely like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you in the next one